very good morning to you. Welcome to New Shot. Bad weather is hampering the ongoing search and recovery efforts for the Cessna plane that went missing Tuesday evening with 10 people on board. According to the National Disaster Management Unit Deputy Director Pius Masai, a police helicopter is scouring the Abadares, the area he suspects the plane may have crashed. In the meantime, the Kenya Red Cross Society Secretary General Abbas Goulet says relatives of those missing can look for more information at Weston Hotel. Among the 10 were eight passengers and two female pilots, and the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority said the plane was flying from Kitale to Nairobi. Pre-trial hearings for 43 suspects charged with the loss of 468 million shillings from the National Youth Service begin today in three different anti-corruption courts in Milimani. This comes after Nairobi Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti denied the suspects bail. Three suspects who were ejected out of court will also be expected to take plea after spending the night in police custody. Among the 41 people who have been remanded until the end of the trial are Public Service PS Lillian Omolo, NYS Director General Richard Dubai, and four members of the Garita family. The charges range from abuse of office, conspiracy to commit economic crimes, willful failure to comply with applicable laws, and theft of public property. The first batch of 50 out of 100 Cuban doctors arrived in the country Tuesday night amid controversy surrounding their pay. The second batch of medics are expected to jet in on Thursday night. The Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacist and Dentist Union has criticized the plan to hire Cubans, arguing that there is no evidence that the country lacks doctors to fill vacancies in the public health system. And finally, legislators in the Education Committee of the National Assembly are scheduled to conduct an inspection visit of Moy Girls Secondary School days after its closure, following allegations of defilement of a student and the assault of two others. The fact-finding visit comes barely hours after the Education Cabinet Secretary, Amina Mohammed dissolved the school's Board of Management and prompted its principal, J.L. Murevi, to opt to go on early retirement. The committee on Tuesday recommended that safety audit and awareness in schools be conducted regularly in an effort to avoid rape incidents like that witnessed at Moy Girls School, Nairobi. Committee Chair Julius Melli has said that it is imperative that such audits be carried out by agents such as the Red Cross in identifying needs, strengths and gaps in the implementation of safety policies. For more on these and other stories, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Capital News. My name is Angelo Amboy. Thank you for watching.